This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. So there's this uh, quote from the movie The Book of Eli, where Denzel Washington's character says, and this is almost a quote, uh, maybe a little bit of a paraphrase. He's asked during a post-apocalypse, what was life like before the apocalypse? And he says, we had no idea what was precious and what was not. We threw away things people kill each other for today. Of course, that's what's going on in the present day. You know, people have, there's, you know, a lot of wastage. It's the ultimate first world problem. But what if there were a way, or at least more ways, to sort of intercept the useful items that are on their way to the dumpster, or on their way to the dump? Uh, goodwill is great for taking a perfectly useful shirt or a decent pair of pants that you've outgrown and, and giving it to them. That's great. But what about the things that would be useful in a crisis, but they really are not very useful today? At least you have so many of them that you feel like you have to throw some of them away. For instance, you know, grocery bags are very useful to you, but you probably have so many of them that you throw half of the ones you collect every month away. Maybe after using them just once. But what if people were to collect uh, items like, you know, Pieces of cloth, uh, you know, uh, uh, clothes with holes in them, uh, watertight containers, perhaps filled with tap water. You know, the kind of thing that is potentially life-saving, but is just not good enough for goodwill. Uh, what if people were to collect those kinds of things, you know, in boxes or something like that, and uh, call them little, uh, little free surplus? Uh, like the little free libraries, uh, use a similar approach to, to what's been successful with the LFLs. So maybe there could be a, you know, a tasteful looking box at the end of your driveway that people are free to put things in or take things out of. It's a little free surplus. And of course it might be used during normal times. You know, just, hey, I'm out for a walk. I'm walking past the LFS. Let's look in it, see if there's anything I'm short on. Oh, look, there's Someone threw away a bowl, you know, a glass bowl, and I haven't, uh, or they didn't throw it away, but they put it in the LFS, and I just recently moved and got rid of all my dishes. I could use a bowl. And you know, the next time you walk past, you know what, I, I, uh, I was going to take some stuff to Goodwill, but I just never get around to it. I guess I'll put it here instead. Well, this kind of thing is not for everybody. Not everybody is going to want to take things. Not everybody is going to want to leave one of these boxes out at the end of their driveway or something like that. So maybe another way to do it would be to just have, you know, a box like that on your property, but only you and your friends put things in it and take things out of it. Even that, I think, majority of people are not going to want to participate in something like this, but it doesn't take... A majority. It just takes a tiny number. For instance, all I need, I like to collect things like this, you preserve things as, if possible and reuse them rather than throwing them away, but I only have a certain amount of space to do this sort of thing, and every time I move I end up throwing it all away or something. It would be nice to have just one person, uh, in this case in, in western New Hampshire, who kind of likes this idea and would like to be a you know a stockpile for these kinds of things and I can take things to them that would be nice and it would get this started if you are such a person shoot me an email just go to ridleyreport.com and click about you'll find my email there or at least a link to it also if you go to ridleyreport.com and click about you uh, should find a link to a text version of this idea that I've written down I don't think I really want to run another web, another website, but uh, I have written something down on the internet. How would this sort of thing be useful in a disaster? Well, it might be so useful that it would just get immediately commandeered by its owner, and the items in it, once considered throwaways, would just the owner would probably sell them or use them over a period of time. But at least it would increase the number of these items in a given area. Or a little free surplus at the end of your driveway could be turned quickly into a sort of trading center and people would already know where it was. 
Uh, the possibilities are endless. Head to RidleyReport.com, click about, email me if you'd like to participate, even in some other manner. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.